I know that the lip bar is doing it, but they are doing it. Hey everyone, it's Joy Lene. If you're a first timer here, nice to meet you. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Before we get started on today's video, don't forget to do all that good stuff. Subscribe to my channel, tap the bell to get notifications, and follow me on Instagram at pure.joylifestyle. Instagram is where it's at. That's where all the content that's from YouTube, from my blog, from TikTok, all of that will always be on there. And if I'm absent on any other platform, if I'm not anywhere else, I'm definitely going to be on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me there. But without further ado, let's get into the topic of today's video. As you see here, I got a blank canvas. I got my headband on to protect my edges because I'm, I'm doing full face of makeup for you. Today, I am doing a full face of lip bar products. It's going to be a little bit of a long one. So make sure you guys just go ahead, grab your drink, use the bathroom, do all that stuff, and come back and tune in. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, I brought you guys in up close and personal so you can see my skin is so trash right now. Now, it's trash for me because I'm used to, you know, not having as many blemishes, but you know, with time, with some niacinamide and some sunscreen and tender loving care, they'll go away. But nonetheless, I still love the skin that I'm in. So let's get started. First things first, this is our canvas. We're going to prime with the Lip Bars Skin Set Primer. Um, I've used this before on my channel, but for those of you who are new here or who haven't um, used it or heard of it, um, it will blur your pores and it's supposed to smooth out your skin. And I'm just using this little bit amount, it's not a whole lot. Smear it together, put it on your face. My favorite thing about it is that it's tacky. So that whenever you, whatever product you put in your face, it's gonna stick to it. I can literally feel it like tightening up on my face. So love, love, love that. Get some for the forehead. And my nose in the bottom here. Okay. Good. And then today I'm going to go in and use uh, the Lip Bar Skin Tint. As you know, it's summertime. I want something that is lightweight. I don't want something heavy like a foundation. So I've been using their skin tint. I love it. It's extremely affordable. It's only 17 bucks. I mean, and the color match is great. So you can't really beat that now, can you? So this is the skin tint here, a little focus. And it is a three in one tinted skin conditioner. So because it is a tinted moisturizer, not just the skin tint, but a moisturizer, it has SPF. So if you forget to put on your sunscreen, you're protected when you use this. It has SPF 11 and it also has hyaluronic acid in it. So I love how nourishing it is for my skin. I feel good about wearing this product. And I got the color shade Honey Dip. I am in the Four O'Clock family. The Four O'Clock family has two different color shades. They have Honey Dip and Almond Joy. Um, so <laughs> I'm Honey Dip. I'm just using this little bit here. And I like to put dots on my face just to kind of see like how even it's going to be. And then I'm going to do the same amount of dots on my other on this side and I always try to kind of like look and make sure that they're in the same place so that I can like match them up I have some remaining so I'm gonna put some there do some on my nose and they say that the best way to use this and to blend it in is to use your hands so that's exactly what I'm doing I'm going to blend it in using my hands and you see that just you see like the the difference oh that is so smooth I can totally see the difference. I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely see the difference in how it's just smoothing out my skin where I've applied it compared to look at the difference in texture between here and between my forehead. And I'm gonna get rid of my blemishes um, when I conceal, so don't worry, they won't always be there. And I see that I need a little bit more, so I'm gonna go in for my forehead. Um, I'm pretty safe on my nose. I might do one more down there, do a dab over here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and smear it in. This is why you need your headband, okay? Gotta, gotta protect, gotta protect. And just smear it all in. Get between your eyebrows, that's a forgotten place. Underneath your lip, your chin. And then just make sure that all the edges all around are smooth blend it in and one thing that I will do 
let me grab it actually is take my sponge and just take the butt end of it and just go around my edges just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and around the edges because I don't want any lines of markation on my face I want it to be you know well blended in here I want y'all to be like oh is she wearing something is she not like what is she oh she just has great skin yeah that's all I need y'all to say okay so I'm going to go ahead and just do that mainly hit my edges and up close and personal this is what she looks like so now that we have that I'm going to go ahead and um, put on some concealer and I'm using the lip bars quick conceal caffeine concealer this is relatively new I'm gonna wash that off in a second this is relatively new to the lip bar and I've really thoroughly been enjoying it and that caffeine it really wakes up your face now this doesn't dry down fast so what I like to do is I like to put the concealer on and then I'll walk away and I'll do something or I'll do my eye makeup or I don't know something else go walk the dog and just kind of let it dry down I'm covering up my scars my blemishes so we can't really see that one right there do a little highlighting here a little there a little on my forehead and I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit and then I'll be back to blend it in and then we're gonna do some eyebrows Okay, so currently right now I'm making a little bit under my eyes. I put on some translucent powder, and now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Um, this I can't talk about this enough. On my days when I'm gonna go to work and I just need to look good, I'm doing some concealer. I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm doing a lip. And my eyebrows, they're not, they're not bad. And I mean, this, they're decent. You know, but I'm gonna shape them up and just fill them in just a little bit. And this is awesome. The color is dead on. And I love eyebrow pencils that have like really, really fine points so that I can like perfect it. So this is the Lip Bar's Exact Arch Micro Brow Pencil. And it has jojoba and argan oil. And it's so again, nourishing. I love products that I can feel good about when I use them. And this is in the color Black Brown. And I love it because blacks are a little bit too dark for my eyes. For, for my eyebrows, not my eyes. And then I find that... um anything like chestnuts and things of that nature or any other types of browns like they're not dark enough so this black brown is just like the perfect shade okay but if you see here it's a little sparse right there and in here so what i would just do is i'm put on some of this here um what is this called some some clear gel some brown gel so this is to secure these puppies in place this is not a lip bar product I don't think the little bar has a no, they don't have a gel. But I'm gonna take my finger and just put that in place, pat it on there. And now I'm gonna go in with the other side. This is a dual side, if you haven't noticed. One side here has a spoolie, and then the other side will be my pencil. And you simply just twist it up. And like I said, you see how fine point and how thin and small that is? I, I can get some really exact details in here. And just do my little line. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it in there. Do some natural strokes here. She's looking better already. Let me look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna shape it up. But uh, ooh, so far, so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up for you guys. Okay, 
eyebrows are done. Again, I like the more fluffy kind of look. I don't need them super duper neat. Um, I always have problems with this one area right here and whatever, I would worry about that part later. So um, something that is new to me is I purchased some lip bar eyeshadow. Usually they only have it at Target and now it's on their site. So I was able to go ahead and purchase some. Before we get further into this video, I am a lip bar affiliate. So you guys can use my code purejoy10 to save on the site or you can use my link down below. If you click on the link and you physically shop and check out, um, everything will automatically be applied. But go ahead and save. Who cares if it's only 10%? 10% is better than nothing. And when you guys purchase from them, you're supporting me. And I get to make these videos for you, whether it's for the lip bar, whoever else you're still supporting. And one thing I just love about the lip bar is that they are black owned and they are woman owned. So again, shout out to these black owned makeup brands seriously doing their thing here in 2021. And the lip bar just launched crazy, crazy amounts of new products. They got highlighters, they got setting powders, new lip colors. What else did they add? Um, the skin tint. So they've been, they've been, oh, the primer, they've been killing the game. So don't sleep on the lip bar, okay? Don't sleep. But let's get into this eyeshadow palette. So it looks like this is super duper small. It was only 11 bucks, so I'm not mad at the size of it. I got four colors for $11, can't beat that. And on the bottom thing here, you have a mirror. Hey y'all. And then you flip it. Oh, you're not about to cut up on me, okay. And then here's the colors. As you can see, I haven't used it too, too much. Um, I barely, I haven't even touched this color. I barely use it. I think I might have used it once. So we're going to truly play with it today. I don't know if I want to do like the brown and the gold or this pink and gold. I'm thinking I might do a pink and gold. You know, I love a good pink and gold. Um, I have yet to prime. So I'm going to go ahead and take this lip bar concealer and just prime my lids. And the reason why you prime your lids is so that, you know, the colors can really pop. I always like to prime um, when it's a new palette because I don't know how much they're you know going to show i like to think that oh yeah it's going to pop but you never know and i don't want to be disappointed so i'm going to just prime it don't mind my ashy hands i had to wash off my skin tint and i did lotion afterwards because i forgot i feel like my hands are just increasingly ashy because i've been washing like crazy in this day and age Alrighty, so let's go in. I'm gonna go in with, you know what? For the sake of just trying out this color, do they have names? Oh, they do have names, okay. Oh, they have names, okay. This is, let me figure out how the names are supposed to be. So this is brown sugar. Okay, so it's backwards, so the brown sugar here. I'm going to go into that and I'm going to apply brown sugar in my crease. It's just a nice matte light brown. Apply that in the little crease. The brush feels like it is about to break on me. Apply some more just so we can really make it look for that color. And if you hear the tapping, that's just me tapping off the excess. See, I can see more of my mirror than I can see. Okay. And then next I'm going to go in with the color Spice. And that is this pink color that we have going on here. I got this new brush from Sephora. 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 And it's supposed to, you know, um, pack it on your eyeshadow really well. So we're going to try it out. Oh, it does. Ooh. I'm liking this color. I'm just going in real lightly. Okay, it's a lot more red than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit more pink, but that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and put this all on our lid. Again, I don't claim to be a makeup artist. I do my makeup how I do my makeup. I do what works best for me, and you know, I like my techniques. So, um, if you like the techniques, follow along, take note. And if you know a better method, that's cool. Keep doing what you do. Because uh, I like my, they, my, my, my methods. I like them. They work well for me. Put it that way. They haven't failed me yet. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. And I'm going to just put some more on my lids. Ooh, this 
color is actually really, really pretty. Okay, lip bar. Come on, spice. And again, I haven't used this color yet. And this is something that I think I just dipped my finger into because I don't remember it. Like, I see a fingerprint, but I don't ever remember using it. And it's not like carved into like I normally carve into an eyeshadow. So I'm like, okay, yeah. Nah, I haven't really used this. And then what I'm going to kind of do is, uh, oh, I said I was going to do pink and gold. I was going to do a brown. I could do the brown. See, this is why you should figure out your eye look beforehand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the gold maybe in my inner corner and then maybe do like the brown on the sides. So let's try that real quick. This gold color is called Toast. And this is the one right here. The gold the little shimmer go into that. And I'm going to lightly tap off the excess and go in the corner parts of my eye. And just put that in there and give it a nice little pop of color. How's this gold? Okay, the gold is looking, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. Okay, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Don't worry, when I blend and I put on some lashes, it's all gonna come together. Cause some eye looks be looking real crazy. I mean, real crazy. Until you blend everything together. But let me know in the comments um, if you guys have ever ordered from the lip bar. If you have, um, what you order, what products do you like from them? I know obviously that their lip products are probably um, what people order from them the most because they are called the lip bar. But you know, they are evolving to TLB. Um, because they are more than just lipstick. They are, you know, they're legit beauty. It's a beauty brand, again. They have eyeshadows, they have concealers, they got powders, they have all the good stuff now. So it's legit a brand. You can do a whole face of makeup with a lip bar, i.e. what you see here. And then now I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade of brown. Clean that off a little bit. I'm gonna use the brown color, um, what is this? This is cinnamon. So, just to reiterate, I used brown sugar in my crease. I used this pink color spice on my lid. I did toast in my corners, and then I'm using cinnamon for the edge. So I've used all four colors. Um, and I really like that this is like a neutral, because you could do the brown and the gold to be neutral. However, I really like that this, um, that pink color spice is in there. That is really dope. Now I'm just looking at my mirror over here real quick. Making sure that we're all good. And if there's any fallout, I'll get that when I wipe my eyes out. My eye makeup. Okay. Do a little bit in my crease over here. A little bit of a cinnamon. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just blend it all out. Blend out the edges so there's no line of demarcation. Blend there. Blend all around. And then I'm going to come, I'm going to do eyeliner my lashes and come back so that we can do the rest of our face. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and I added in an inner corner color. I did my lashes and I'm going to go in with my lip bar mascara. It's the Lash Flash Strengthening Mascara with green tea extract. Also, something to note is that the lip bar is vegan and cruelty free. Um, so again, like I said before, I feel really, really good. And this video is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just a lip bar stand. Um, I just love that when I use the products, I don't feel guilty. I know that, again, no animals have been harmed. Um, they're cruelty-free. No people have been harmed. And, um, most of them, they have nourishing stuff inside of them. Whether it's hyaluronic acid, sea moss, SPF, it's good for you. These lashes, y'all see them? Pop, pop. Alrighty, so now let's get into my favorite part, bronzer. If you know me, you know that I love the Lip Bars bronzer. Hands down, this is the best bronzer. I haven't used any of Fenty's bronzers yet, but this is better than Prime Beauty, um, Makeup Revolution, this Soul Body that I have. This is better than any bronzer that I've ever used. So, let's get into it. And this is it's the dual compact, so you have the bronzer on one side, and then you flip over to the blush. Yeah, I know my blush, it, I dropped it, my bad. 
and then it also has a little mirror here and then it comes with this that you use to put it on but I save that for when I travel so I'm just going to go ahead and just use a regular brush this brush is also from the lip bar it's a dual sided brush as you can see one side is for blush and the other one's for bronzer and if you look at it it's angled so it hugs my cheek perfectly when I put on my bronzer now typically in the summertime I don't like to use um, powder bronzers and powder product products with the skin tint but since this is a lip bar skin tint the products do pair well to each other and I don't feel like it's taking product off my face you see that look at how I see the definition already cheekbone okay. and just tap off what you don't need and go ahead and just blend it in and before I continue blending, a lot of times I'll take that excess of bronzer and I'll just go around my perimeter, trying not to get too much on my hairline. Just, you know, again, make sure your forehead looks smaller. And then I blend it in in circular motions. See that? Looks nice. Ooh. Ooh. And it truly brings some warmth back into my face. And I'll even go down here a little bit and use some bronzer down below my jawline again to bring some warmth back into my face okay just look at that look at that difference like I just I feel more snatched already tap off my excess and I'm gonna try to pull up whatever blush I can out of this and the blush has like a little sparkle highlighting effect to it so you'll need to use a lot you see that you see the sparkle in there Whoosh. a little bit goes a long way so ooh, I'm actually gonna take my other blush brush to blend that out again circular motions pretty pretty shade of pink and again, um, all the products I use from Lip Bar are in the four o'clock family. My skin tint, my bronzer, my blush, my concealer, all in the four o'clock family. Um, this compact is called Just Got Paid, and the bronzer color is Direct Deposit, and then the blush is Shopping Spring. Um, the Lip Bar also now sells uh, blushes, just single blushes. When they sell single bronzers, I'll be happy. But yeah, there we go. Bronzed and blushed up. And that compact duo is only like 22 bucks for both of those I'm not too shabby but again um go ahead and use my code to save and now i'm going to set my face with setting powder i usually do this before my bronzer but i'm just not thinking today this is the color here it's brown sugar babe it's their setting powder this is one of their new releases and i'm going to lightly lightly tap into this dust off the excess and i'm going to set where i haven't set so all under here get underneath my nose my chin I'm going to hit my nose area hit that forehead part that wasn't um, set and bada boom bada bang easy peasy quick and done and so now the last thing that I need to do I, let me spray and then the last thing I'm gonna do is use a lip color um, I have all almost all of the lip bar colors I have glosses, I have matte lips, I have lipsticks. Um, I, I have all the colors because um, first things first, I found out about the lip bar through their lip products and I love their lip products. They are staples for me and for my friends. I'm always buying them for my coworkers and everybody else. So I love their products that much. So I'm gonna go in with the lip liner in the color Straight Talk. And um, the Straight Talk, it has jojoba oil and aloe vera. So again, it's nice and nourishing. It's like this deep maroon kind of color that you see here. I need to get the brown. I think they were sold out. So I opted for this. It's like a really deep purple. So I have this deep purple and then I also have a deep red. I have a deep. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. And I'm also going to go over it though with my brown liner. Kind of give it, you know, more of that chocolate look that I, I want because I love a brown liner. And it's okay if you do some thick lines on your lips. I love a thick line on the lip. 
now because I'm going to go over it with some gloss. Clean it up if need to be. You know, we, we aim for neatness over here. And I'm going to use the Lip Bar's Clear Gloss. And this is, it's, again, it's just clear. And this is called Minimalist. This retails it for about $14, I believe. I think it's $13, $14. But again, this is a really, really large tube. This is large compared to, let me see. This is what their glosses look like compared to what their matte lips look like. So, um, obviously there's a size difference. So, even though you're paying more for the gloss, you are getting more product. So, I'm not mad at it. Oh, uh, yeah. I love a good clear gloss. I don't use it as much as I should, but, uh, she's good. Mm. And I love their glosses because they're not sticky. I don't want a gloss that's super duper sticky. And then, it, you know, it's stuck to my mask and everything else while they're eating. Ooh. Okay, so let me go ahead and change my shirt real quick because I'm about to leave my house and I'll show you guys the final look. Before we finish, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at pure.joylifestyle. Okay, so I am back with my face completed. First of all, chef's kiss because can we get into this? This looks good. Like, I know the lip bar was doing it, but they doing it. Like, this looks really good. Let me give you guys just a, a close up. This is it. <laughs> the lip bar did that. I love everything. The skin tint, like I said before, it's my color. I'm loving the eyeshadow look. Um, I'm loving the lips. I did subtle bronzer and blush on my face. It's really like pulled everything together. Um, I'm really like, I'm loving this look. I go out for the day. And all of these products, this, this whole face is less than $100. So this is... The lip bar did that. Is it less than $100? Let me not make that claim to fame, but it should be. <laughs> but if you guys liked any of the products that I use, I will list the names down below. And then I'm going to leave a link to my lip bar uh, affiliate code. Or you guys can simply put in purejoy10 at checkout to save. And again, anything that you purchase, I do get a little kickback from. But I will greatly appreciate your support. Let me know how you like these products, how you like the look, my face. Have used any of the lip bar products before? What's your favorite? I'm really, I'm a fan. It's you know because of everything going on, I don't beat my face as much. And this is, I'm thoroughly impressed, and I love this look, and I love you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Until next time.